Hello. So I want to talk today about the pleasure and the value and the abundance in slowing right down. While I've been on this pilgrimage for, I think it's close to three weeks now, I have noticed this voice inside of my head that was so minuscule, so subtle, but it was there and it was driving me to want to take action simply for action's sake. And it was this like voice as if I'm not doing enough. I'm not being enough. I'm not enough. There's not enough money. There's not enough time. It's just so much not enoughness. And every time that I've seen it come up while I've been on pilgrimage, I have had the opportunity to look at that and go, fuck you. <laughs> no, you are not coming in. So every time that I felt that feeling, I have held my hand over my heart. I've checked a few other things first maybe, but then held my hand over my heart and said, I love you and you are so enough right here, right now. If you never did anything else valuable for the rest of your life, right here, right now, you are enough. I love you and you are perfect and you are enough. And then I've chosen to show myself that through my choices of how I spend my time by really slowing down instead of taking action uh, because I think that I have to. I've taken action when I felt called by the divine or called by inspiration, but not because I thought that I wasn't enough and I needed to take action to be enough. And it has been such an incredible shift. And actually the things that I have taken action on have created more impact than when I was at home and I wrote a to-do list and then crossed off the things on the to-do list. So that's why I'm sharing with you today the pleasure and the value and the abundance in slowing right down. So I invite you, first of all, to notice this in your own life and see if this is a pattern that's coming up for you by the next time you feel kind of rushed and like jittery and like you have to do stuff, just take a moment to breathe and bring your awareness into that present moment and ask yourself, what must I believe in order to feel this way? And it's a, a quote, like a question that I got from Tony Robbins about five years ago, I think in one of his books which just popped in right now. So thank you, Tony. I haven't thought about it in ages and here it is. What must I believe in order to feel this way? And it allows you to go, well, actually, shit, there's this voice in the back of my head that's going, if you don't do this, you won't be enough. If you don't do this, people won't pay attention. People will stop noticing you, you'll start forgetting about what you have to say or you know, maybe people won't love you anymore if you don't do this. What? is that voice inside of you, your ego, your limited self, telling you in order to get you to believe that if you don't take action in that moment, then you won't be enough. Is that what's going on for you? Because for some people, maybe it's not. Maybe that question alone allows you to realize that it's coming from a place of inspiration and love and just wanting to share. But if you do notice that sometimes it's coming from a place of not being enough, well, understanding that your vibration inside of you, your feeling state inside of you is your prayer to the universe. And I've got another video about that. You can check out my YouTube um, channel if you want to, to find out more about that. But your feeling state inside of you is your prayer to the universe. It's the way that you literally create. Quantum physics tells us this. Ancient religions and spiritual traditions tell us this. It is the way that you communicate what you desire to the universe. And so if your unconscious feeling state is, I'm not enough unless I do this, or there is not enough time, or there is not enough money, and that's why I need to work harder right now, then you are going to keep creating, I'm not enough. The world does not have enough for me. I don't have enough. 
And that's not what I want for you. It's not what I want for myself. So the things that I've been doing that I would like to share with you and invite you to play with as well, to really slow down is to ask myself, first of all, okay, what are my actual deadlines here that if I didn't commit to them and do them now, I would be out of integrity with myself and my highest self for not having done. So for me, getting the podcast out every week at, on a Tuesday evening, Australian Eastern Standard Time is about the only thing that and like turning up to sessions, but on my pilgrimage, I haven't had them. So that's about the only thing that I actually have to do is amazing but for you I'm sure there's others but it's about asking yourself what actually do I need to do right now to be in alignment with myself and in integrity with myself and then what are the other things that are just like it would be great to do right now or I think other people expect me to do right now but actually they could wait and do whatever you have to do to put those things aside and give yourself the space to go, actually, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters except for how I feel right now. So tonight I wanted to do a video for you all. And I, like I just, I wanted to, but I felt I woke up this morning and I didn't feel energized in my body. And I felt this like, well, you must do something because you haven't done a video in a while and it started to feel like that and I was like oh hell no so I went and had a bath and I sat there and I slowed down and the only thing I had to do was listen to music and then I got out and I got coconut oil and I gave myself a massage and then I pleasured myself in like the most slow and sensual way the way like that like one caress can take like seconds all the way down a leg, you know, that kind of slow, sensual lovemaking with myself and with the divine and with life. I invited it all in. And I literally put any thoughts of what I had to do next or thought I had to do next out of my mind. And I was just so present and I slowed down and I kept reminding myself that I loved myself that much that all I needed in that moment was me. But there are other ways you can do it as well. You can take in a big belly breath through your nose and exhale it out through your mouth with a sigh. And exhaling through your mouth, I don't know what, I don't actually know the science or even the religious stuff or the spiritual stuff behind it. But what I do know is it feels like fucking magic when I do it. Inhale deep and slow down to my belly and then exhale through my mouth. <sighs> feels like the whole weight of the world comes off my shoulders in that moment. Maybe all like that is all it takes to remind you that you don't need to do anything else to be enough in that moment. Some other ways that you can do it. Are, oh, I do this one so much at home. I go to the beach at nighttime when no one else is around and it's dark and I watch as I plant each foot on the ground and I feel the feelings that like touch my feet as I step in the sand or on the concrete or the grass near the beach, each footstep, total presence, as if all that matters in that moment is how you feel in your feet. And I remind you that you are creating your life with your feeling state. So if you are feeling the pleasure of your feet touching the ground, you are inviting more pleasure into your life. And each time that I am driving and I'm running late, which is actually quite often, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm definitely a um, in-time person. They call it an NLP, which means I get lost in the moment. Um, but don't take that as a reason not to believe all the other things I'm saying right now because they're really valuable, I promise you. Uh, but if I'm driving and running late, 
I remind myself that I'm not going to drive over the speed limit to get there. It's out of integrity for me. So what I do instead is invite in a feeling of abundance and rest. Like I'm on it. I'm so on it. If there's lane change that I can do to get there faster, I will. But the actual feeling state that I carry in my body is one of abundance of time and pleasure and joy and just really allowing myself to be in that moment and knowing that how I feel in that moment as I'm driving is more important because when I arrive, if I'm feeling flustered, whoever's waiting on me is not going to get the best of me anyway. So practically it makes sense to show up in a pleasure filled, abundant version of you, but it also creates more time. Einstein time creates more time. The more abundance you feel in any moment, whether it is in relation to pleasure or time or success or money, the more that you are creating around you. And so if you slow down and believe that there is plenty of time, plenty of value, plenty of wisdom, plenty of money, plenty of joy, plenty of pleasure, plenty of sunlight, then you will experience that. Hmm, what else did I want to say? Oh, the other thing is that to do any of these things, I feel that it's really important to have a safe container around it. I've noticed that I've had to tell myself before I even begin these slowing down periods, I had to tell myself it is safe to be here right now. It is safe to feel this much pleasure. In fact, often I've noticed that the reason I feel like I'm not doing enough is because I've reached such a high peak in abundance and miracles and just like magic all around me that I've had to remind myself that this is my upper limit coming up about how much of that I, des I think I deserve to receive or I think it is safe to receive. And so then I tell myself it is safe to slow down. It is safe to feel good in this moment. It is safe to feel the pleasure of this moment and the abundance that is in every moment. And so I invite you to explore whether you feeling like you need to rush or that there's not enough in that moment or you're not enough is maybe an indicator that you've reached an upper limit. And if you haven't heard of the upper limit problem before, then I invite you to read the book, The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks or watch a video or something because it blew my mind and my life wide open. And it does that honestly about every three days when I notice that I'm hitting it again and again. And again, so it's so important to recognize your behaviors or thought processes or manifestations that are caused by this feeling that it's not safe to feel this good for this long or to rest in the knowledge that we have an abundance of time in every moment. So I invite you to just allow yourself to remember that the world has been spinning a long time before you came here and the world will continue to spin after you leave. The, this energy around us created us. We are part of this creation. The divine is so perfectly creating our lives in every moment at, at co-creating with us. And it doesn't need you as much as you think it does. It just needs you to get out of your own way. And so if you slow down, you are releasing resistance to the miracles and the magic that want to come into your life in this moment. And you are allowing them in and you can be more potent and more powerful and more creative in your life if you slow down and know that it is safe to trust in that slowing down and the abundance that is in inherent in every moment because it just is our absolute truth and our infinite nature. I hope that this serves you. And I, oh, just before I leave you, I want to just make sure that like do my ethical, <laughs> ethical way of um, finishing up this up is to also notice if you have been feeling so good 
that your upper limit comes in and says, you can't feel this good for this long. And then it tells you to slow down. And it tells you to slow down because it tells you because you deserve it and all those things. And you do deserve to slow down. Um, everyone deserves to have slowness in their life. But if it is stopping you from taking action that you know is good for you and for your highest self, then take that action in a slow way. Don't allow that voice to stop you from taking action. So sometimes I've noticed that I might reach out to someone and then they respond in a positive way and I'm like, holy shit, they responded in a positive way. I need to celebrate and slow down and like not take action too fast and actually I'll take forever to respond and then I feel out of integrity for having done that. So it's my way of like potentially sabotaging those new connections and those new possibilities. So I wanted to just do my like due diligence here and say, use your own intuition to check in and go, is this slowing down because it's right for me? Or is this slowing down to avoid a certain action? And then if that's the case, take the action and do it in a slow. There is so much time. There is so much money. There is so much pleasure. Abundance mentality but just don't let it stop you from going in the direction that you know is right for you i hope that this has been a transmission of my own filled up self-pleasuring self-loving slowness and stillness and that you have received it in a way that allows you to slow down and know that you're worth slowing down and that the world will keep spinning and that you have all that you need and all that you desire in this moment if you slow down long enough to receive it. Mm. Sending you so much love. I hope that this serves you. Mm. Bye for now.